a lot of people with epilepsy get depression, something like 50% of people with refractory epilepsy, maybe 25% of people who have got newly diagnosed epilepsy. And you might say, well, of course, because epilepsy makes you depressed, seizures make you depressed. But it isn't. It, it's the, these, <coughs> the, these disorders overlap in terms of the, uh, <coughs> the, the mechanisms of the depression and the epilepsy. Uh, and we have some of our drugs that actually are, are, are used for uh, for treating depression and uh, and and uh, other um, psychiatric disorders. So there is an overlap overlap in the in in the mechanisms that cause both epilepsy and depression. The other problem, of course, is that some of the antidepressants can reduce seizure threshold, and so arguably they can make um, the epilepsy worse. I'm not sure uh, what the evidence is to support that um, um, and whether it's beefy enough. But nevertheless, obviously, the, the two um, speakers will, 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 will show us that and we can make our, our opinion. Of course, all, all treatments should be avoided if possible. But if it's beneficial, <coughs> then, then maybe for not, not, not for everybody, but for some, uh, it is appropriate. So I think that, again, this is a decent debate. <coughs> where you could have differences of opinion. But very much, you know, if you're looking at a population, is that different from looking at an individual where you might say, oh, this is obvious, or this is obvious the other way, but the populations give you, a, 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 give you no clear-cut answer. So that might be the, the bottom line.